Wake Forest won the coin toss. They have elected to kick off here, so North Carolina will get their first crack at it with their outstanding offense. Perfect look because these backs are so good at breaking tackles. Carter spins outside. Big gain there as he'll pick up the first down. I think the key is get the ball in the hands of your best players, which they've done so far. They're down and three. And a reception here on the near side. Gaz Noose, another big target. That's his 25th catch of the season. Whether it's Red or Smenda, they're going to need to do a good job of tackling in the box. Third down six for Howell. On the move for a short and completed to Williams. He can do that too. Oh, the man in motion. That's Newsom. And a handoff. Williams so hard to take down on that first hit. As he is stacked up. That was Williams, the first man to get to him. Exactly one time in six games. Pretty amazing. Short pass again. And trying to bounce outside Roberson, but not much there. You know, because they've found themselves in some of these more manageable situations. Pressure on him, and he's going to get that pass away on that left sideline. Christian Beal Smith in the backfield. And a handoff taking that left side, and Beal Smith finally nudged out of bounds by Gimmel. Watch Beal Smith here. He does a nice job of bouncing. Everyone kind of gets covered up. Linebackers are free. They're good inside. They need somebody like Green to step up outside. Third and four. And then back to throw. And a flag down on what should be interference here. First and ten, so Wade driving it. Neil Smith trying to dance away from a tackler. Does that beautifully. Trying to get ahead of the ten before he's pushed out of bounds. And out of the Wildcat. Straight ahead and into the end zone is Walker for the touchdown. So taking advantage of the Wildcat and in for six of the Wildcat. Kind of bobbles the snap a little bit there. It's fortunate to do that. Christian Beal Smith ends up being the lead blocker. Sam Hartman with outstanding receiving core. And Sam Howell the same thing. And he's going to wind up and fire and it's going to be complete. Newsom off to the races getting down to the 20. And he is going to be all the way in for the touchdown. In the blink of an eye, North Carolina answers for 75 yards and a touchdown. It, it can't be good offense. Here, see everyone up front blocking the run. You see them basically, linebacker comes up. When that happens, as A.J. Williams attacks, it creates a huge throwing lane in behind. And then Daz Newsom, we know, has so much speed. And so when you hit him on the run, allowing him to keep his speed up, it's just off to the races. So you know, it really is the identity of what North Carolina wants to do offensively. And Daz Newsom, we had a huge year really work on it, and it shows every week. Hartman, straight ahead he comes, and he'll dive ahead and pick up the first down. He's going to fire it, and that one's going to be broken up. So more to punt here on fourth down and four for Wake Forest. Daz Newsom will take it right there. In terms of what he has done, sacrificing in terms of how he's kind of lived with his family. Danny Brown breaking free on that sideline, making something extra after that catch. Going to Chapel Hill. That's how we conducted our Zoom calls with the players and the coaches. Now winding up, he's going to go deep. And that one is going to be caught. A tremendous catch by Deami Brown. Deami Brown usually just runs past you. And, you know, it's really a jump ball situation as Taylor has great coverage and looks at one point like he's going to come down with an interception. Javante Williams, 17 touchdowns already this season. He's in motion. Howell. On the move, he's going to be taken down from behind. Outstanding defensive play by Miles Fox, who chased him down for a loss of seven. Going to hand it off here for Williams. Williams tripped up. That does not happen very often where one man can take him down again. It's Fox for the second time. 
to try and put North Carolina in front. And he's going to hit this one perfectly. I do appreciate the love of them having the cutout of us. But... It is it is all love. You know that's the case. Will Smith bouncing outside. Big, big gainer across the 50, cutting back inside across the 40-yard line. That happened in the run game when linebackers get out of position. You see Surratt and Gimmel three up gaps, and it's a good job of Bill Smith to seeing it. Harmon looking downfield, and a completed pass. Got that man free, Roberson. He is into the end zone. And another quick strike here for the Demon Deacons. This is what I mean about the deep cross. You see him coming from the left side of your screen, running the, the deep cross, and just enough speed to get deeper than Tyrone Hopper. And it's a good job. It's just a really good job of feeling it, knowing the depth that you have to get to, and then Hartman playing on time and delivering an accurate football so Roberson can keep his speed up. Three plays, 80 yards into the end zone, and it looked pretty bleak at the early part of the season, but it's been impressive since then pass is going to be complete as he hits Chaffrey Brown and Deami Brown and you know that comes up at Thanksgiving every year it's Deami this time who has 19 career touchdown picking up five quick yards because they're so good run after the catch Great opening up off the middle Carter finds that Still on his feet before finally they take him down. Carter straight ahead for 20. And this is what I mean, you know, they pull Zudu around. He does a nice job of just covering up, and Tucker does the same thing, and then you see the elusiveness of Michael. Not a bad idea to stay behind the Zudu at 6'4", 325. Now the throw right down the middle, and another touchdown for North Carolina. It's Brown into the end zone. Diaby Brown. Back and forth we go, 23 yards and a touchdown for Sam Howell. Basically, you be the eyes for the wide receiver. Hard to find the throwing lane. See, that's why he's able to stop him. You see the safety coming over the top. And Sam Hartman looking for the answer. He's not throwing an interception all season long. Throwing long here, going down the sideline. And a leaping catch made by Donovan Green, a spectacular grab going up high. They need Donovan Green to step up. It's because he's one of their out wide, outside wide receiver, does a great job of winning the one-on-one -on -one matchup, gets on top of Patrice Rene, getting back to it and coming down with it. 38 yards. Here's Walker on the carry, trying to stay in there, but they knock him out of bounds. Well, we saw 467 combined yards on offense by these two in the first quarter and this was going to be fired and off into the end zone for the touchdown donovan green what they do here almost looks like quarterback iso that quarterback follow that they like to do good job well back to throw they go short here to williams three men trying to bring him down luckily for north carolina he ended up as their running back it was a linebacker in high school, real good one until his junior year of high school. Trying to gain the edge outside. He does three or four men on his way to a big game. Good luck bringing him down, a 17-yard pickup. Back like a linebacker, as you see here, just breaking tackles. You know, he told us, well, I like defense better. Valedictorian, high school senior year. On the carry, big hole opening up. And again, they can't take him down right away. Another gain here for Williams against the Demon Deacons in 1983. So he has tremendous memories. Facing Wake, winding up the fire again. It's Howell, and it's going to be another touchdown pass to Newsom. Well, Howell having a sensational day. So is Newsom here. Offening things up, and then you get Newsom running an inside fade from the slot against Nick Anderson, the true freshman safety, and that's just not a matchup. You see his growth as a quarterback. Second and five, and you know, watching this unique offense here for the he's yeah, seen a whole lot of them. He has it's unique and you know, more traditional offense in these third and eights. Hardman up top and has a wide receiver. A battle for that, but a completed pass. And hauled in by Donovan Green. 24 yards. Yeah, and then Wake Forest keeps running some of these switch releases. They were in a bunch, and there's kind of a, a burst or a 
And Hartman will throw again. Throwing long. Toss that one up there, and it's going to be complete. How about that catch? Made by Moore in another big battle, and he wins the fight. Well, it's not a good decision by Hartman. He throws in a double coverage. Really, the underneath route was where the ball should have gone, but... Second down and goal. They're going to go quickly. Bobbles it. Straight ahead, getting inside. He lost it. He lost the football. It's going to be a touchdown. A good instinctual football player by Sam Hartman. It's the second time we've seen Wake Forest have a bad snap down inside the five-yard line, a shotgun snap. We saw in the Wildcat earlier on the Kenneth Walker touchdown. Sam Hartman fields a, a high snap there and then doesn't make a bad play worse, just tries to recover the football and take it in. Takes a bit of a shot as he's going into the end zone, but he's fortunate fortunate enough to continue to fight for the football and end up with it in the end zone. Second down and six for the Heels. One of the most productive offenses coming into this game in the country, and down goes the quarterback, Howell, as he is sacked by Deion Bergen. See inside there, this is part of the problem that you have with RPOs. You have offensive linemen blocking the run. And so third and 12 for North Carolina. Now in the pocket. He's going to move now. On the run, he's going to air that one out. Out of bounds. I already mentioned damage control. That's okay. Kiernan, the native of Dublin, Ireland, able to get that one off and tackled around the 40-yard line. Taylor Morin is hoping for more than that. Going after it again. Kloss, one of the most innovative coaches in college football. His team at Deacons averaged 42 points a game during his four-game winning streak. And here comes Walker down the sideline. You never see that. You usually see people copying what other people are doing, especially when they have success. But this has been their own. It's been really effective. And so third and 15. Hartman. On the move, he'll fire this one, and it's going to be broken up by North Carolina. North Carolina looking for their sixth. Loosen back with a fair catch, and that's where the drive will begin for the Tar Heels. I don't think it ever felt too big to him, and it's one of the things that I think the football team has rallied around. Gets this one free to Newsom, who has really been a thorn in the side of Wake Forest today. 17-yard pickup there. He does say some, something. Everybody listens. And we'll hand off here Carter. Not much room to operate on the outside. As he's tied up. We have a star, one of the best in the conference at quarterback, and we're going to have him for a while. Yeah, Matt Brown talks about that a lot, too. He said, you know, raising those expectations... You know, in just over a year, he's done a nice job. Third and 11. I'll throw it again. And incomplete. Here on the native of Ireland from a rugby player. Able to get that one off. Some pressure on him. Which makes it much easier to defend because you're not dealing with the mesh point and all of that nonsense that gives you so much trouble. Hartman's going to air it out. He has a receiver, and the catch is made. And a terrific play for the strike as he gets it to Green. Yeah, well, Green has stepped up, and, you know, the matchup that they continue to find is Gimmel running the middle of the field. Isn't the matchup defensively that North Carolina is looking for? Now, both of the Sams are having outstanding days, aren't they? Beal Smith bouncing outside. Across the 30-yard line before he is nudged out. Pace is fast. Bill Smith once again staying on those feet. Maybe have that be another defender for you if North Carolina gets the ball back. Walker straight on, taking tacklers with him. Down around the one-yard line as he'll pick up nine. Diving in and all the way through the little nudge. It's Kenneth Walker for the touchdown. Walker, the second time today, he finds the end zone. Good job of 
Kind of getting movement there, and it's not a ton, but it's enough. And there's a little bit of a wave and a little bit of a shove from Sam Hartman. And if you like offense, this is your day. Certainly this game. Sam Howell looking for the answer and will get this one outside and complete to his tight end Walston for 11. We've seen them do that in these two minute situations. So short here, Carter. That's the 40 yard line and scampers out. 48 seconds left, turning the ball over here. We might not be surprised if they're just trying to get him the jump. And it off to Williams. He's going to break free and get to the 50 yard line. First and ten, last half minute. Howell throwing long. Heading to the end zone, and that one is going to be caught, actually. Right down there, it's going to be picked off. Wasn't able to come down with it. This one looks like it was originally caught by Brown. Maybe looser. It looked like Brown was going to catch it, and then this one's rust, rust, wrestled away by Jasir Taylor. So... Kind of a similar play, but different result than the one we saw earlier where the first player to kind of look like he has possession of the football doesn't end up with the football. It's and amazing he moving. came away with the football. Yeah, and I think, see, I think that that ball's still moving around. See, Deami Brown originally gets that left hand on it, and you think he's going to catch it, but it's moving around. And it... Looks like it's Taylor's the player that has possession of the football. I believe he was in bounds that whole time as well. It's interesting to see Wake Forest has seriously outrushed North Carolina in the first half. Three wide receivers and a running back have already gone over 100 yards for the day, and we're just starting the second half. And Hartman tiptoeing up. He'll fire this one, and it'll be complete. You know, playing with a lot of poise, a lot of confidence, and, and a here he goes taking off free. and running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been, you know, really risen to the occasion. He's been outstanding. He sure has. Third down, three. And that pass, as he's nudged out of bounds, is complete. Once again, it's Roberson. Like I, you know, batted balls, tips that turn into interceptions. One of the ways to do it. Third nine. Back to the throw. Complete. Make it 40. Trying to nail this one. One of the better kickers in the country will hit that one. They're two for seven on third down. Third and six here for Carolina. Time in the pocket to throw, and he's going to throw incomplete. I think they're trying to get Wake Forest out of this this mesh offense. Third one. They were just short and trying to pull ahead. And that was Taylor Morin. Basically, this offense wants to take the aggressiveness out of, you know, the defensive line and the linebackers. Five minutes to throw again. And fires that one complete as he hits Morin. Which would have given you a free play, but instead of in, which means you should take a shot. He didn't do that there. Stuck with it. And it's fun able to find Marin for a first down. Walker is slicing through. And another hefty gain. Second and ten. Wake again pressing the matter. Hartman time to throw. And he fires that one for a touchdown. Caught by Green in the end zone. And Wake continues to find that end zone time and time again. An 18-yard touchdown pass. A bunch look. You spray release them. And that distorts the coverage for North Carolina. And Day Day Hollins, number 15. So Carolina got off to such a good start. They're trying to find that groove again. Ow, the throw is a wide open receiver. Brown down into the end zone, perhaps. And there he goes. The flag is down, but Choffrey Brown off to the races. Brown's brother, Diami Brown, that ends up with the penalty. They run a post-deep cross combination. Diami takes the top off the coverage. Here comes Choffrey across the screen, and then it's that block right there. Uh, 
You yeah, know, they're trying to eliminate those plays from. Second down and six. Now puts it in the air short. And it's Boston is tight end getting down close inside the five yard line. Williams again, the running back, second and goal for the Heels. Quarterback is going to keep it and dive ahead. So not much there. Now oh, back short. And into the end zone and an outstanding catch by De'Ami Brown for the touchdown. Fading right into the corner for six. Points is the back pylon. They get into this like full house look to get man coverage. 45 to 31 Wake Forest. And he gets it away. And here's Newsom. He wants to run it. Looking for a couple of blocks. And they're going to tie him up and spin him down. So nothing doing. This year, how the offense could improve. Of course, he has a tremendous quarterback in Howell. We'll throw that one short on the near side. Flag is down on the play. Under two minutes to go in the third. move again as there is that one out of bounds you know sometimes when you see a guy go down and then the the blocker is on the side of them the official will read that as a hold you know with the throw away by sam howe probably doesn't really end up mattering all that much you know been the formula for wake forest offensively this year and again he has not been intercepted pressure on He's going to get it off, but incomplete. Has not been intercepted. Dash point as he walks up to the line of scrimmage with Walker. He decides to pull the football, and then he's going to run with it. And then he doesn't like to run, so he comes out of it to try to throw it away. He's clearly in the tackle box in case somebody's unabated, but I think Sam wanted a free play there. Looking to fire again, and this one broke it up. Incomplete. He wanted green again, but not this time, and another flag is down. Now they're keeping your poise in these situations. Obviously key for Wake Forest. Or he gets off the punt. And Newsom there at the 25-yard line. That's where the drive will begin here. And his team is down 45-31. He's going to throw to the flat. And Newsom. And a completion to Daz Newsom. Stopped by Nick Anderson, but it picks up 11. They stretch you that way, pound you with the run, and then go over the top. Newsom's really been a star. Going to tuck that one in for De'Ami Brown. And a completed pass. You see how fast. The run pass options, one that goes into the flat, one that goes to a slant. Trying to get away. He's going to loft that one. Right on the sidelines. What a grab there. Trying to throw it over Carter's head. Carter kind of does... Some acrobatics on the sideline and, and catches the football for a loss. <laughs> well, we have seen over a thousand yards total offense in the first three quarters here at Chapel Hill today. What will the fourth quarter hold? Well, Howell has been outstanding, continues that. Right away goes to Carter for the end zone. And he continues to add on to a sensational day. Five touchdown passes. This one, 46 yards. Quarters, and they run Carter on a little wheel route. Runs to the flat and turns up, and it's, it's just too much speed for DJ Taylor. And you see him up the top of the screen, kind of runs that wide, and then boom, up the field. DJ Taylor converting from quarterback of all positions. Bill Smith trying to find a hole inside. Did a new good job there negotiating that one. On the carry, they'll gain him five. It's to his third wide receiver there, which was Roberson, but he had to come all the way across the field to find it. Nothing this time for Christian Beal Smith as he has stopped. Finding it very, very tough to get a long drive going. Third down and four. And he'll throw that one incomplete. Mora trying to launch one, got his leg into it. Newsom back there around the 21-yard line. 
And another flag. Got a lot of those here in the second half. Well, and he's going to get it with 12.42 left in this game. Like his chances. May get it very, very quickly. And nudged out of bounds on a completed pass. It is Newsom. Good job. He's come down to run support. Realizes it's a throw and he's able to get his arm up. Third and five. Moving on the outside here is Williams for the game. Powell has had a record-setting day for North Carolina at quarterback, and he's back to throw again. He's looking long. He fires as a wide-open wide receiver. He's going to hit Brown again for a huge first down to add to his total. Like we saw earlier, it's a posted cross combination. Look at Nick Anderson, 45 on the top hash. Instead of continuing to sink deep, he comes up, and when he comes up, that vacates that whole area for the deep cross. North Carolina moving it again, first and ten. Quick handoff for Carter, but Wake Forest saw that one coming. Under nine minutes to go in the fourth quarter at Chapel Hill. He will hand it off to Williams. Bouncing outside, and he picks up a first down. Normally you want to run inside of that, but it basically just gets bounced and that's why you know one of the reasons why he's got excellent speed as well and then the vision to just bounce it outside and get the first down he's going to keep it looking for the end zone again and a touchdown he goes for the tight end garrett walston this time they did and sam howell has been excellent and there's garrett walston saying hey the tight ends need to be a part of this offensive explosion this thing up and make it interesting so now it's Hartman's turn going up top and flinging that one down the field and an incomplete pass with a flag down. Hartman back looking to throw. He's going to fire an incomplete tight coverage. Fourth consecutive time they have been forced by North Carolina to punt the football. Newsom back to receive. And will take it right there around the 19-yard line. And have been forced to score a ton again today, this time against Wake Forest. It's Carter on the move. Carter hurtling over one man, trying to break away, got close to the 50-yard line. The ball carrier, both backs in the backfield, and Javante Williams on the left side of your screen. I mean, that's a pancake block, and then he's actually still on his feet. Maybe looking for even more. Some heat on him. He's going to have to run it. Straight ahead he goes. What an effort there by Howell, who's very rarely called on to have to run the football. Great play by Sam Howell. First and 10. Handing off Williams. He's going to cut to his right, still on his feet. He got down to the 20-yard line. Run. Got to you know, get good movement up front. And then I think it was a bit of a missed tackle there. Maybe by Bothroyd is... To me, I'm, I'm looking for one of those guys in this situation. Third down, 10. He's going to run it again. Howell press the five, and he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Sam Howell has done it all today, literally. They basically fake a swing pass out to the left to release the offensive lineman down the field, and then Sam Howell... Getting some of that Michael Carter and Javante Williams rubbing off on them. A little bit of a stiff arm and broken tackle as he finds his way into the end zone. But quarterback draw, well-timed call by Phil Longo. Here's the broken tackle of Nick Anderson. And Sam Howell just competing. Just, do, as you said, Dave, doing it every which way. Obviously in the passing game, but here in the running game as well. Think of the two critical runs by Sam Howell. He's able to get enough of the foot of, of Sam Hardman to get him down. Hardman on third down and nine. Rifles that one incomplete. And here again, they get into that punch. I'd expect some type of switch release. Working someone up top. Fourth the nine. Pressure. He is down again. Chaz Surratt. Surratt played poorly in this matchup a year ago. Does an excellent job there. Jay Bateman told us he kind of knew that Jess Surratt was going to be looking for some redemption. They bring both inside backers and Christian Beal Smith 
isn't able to sort it out. Putting himself into the North Carolina record books has been a lot of fun to watch. Handing off Williams again, big hole, he cuts back inside, touchdown! Another score for North Carolina. Javante Williams once again to the end zone. You see, just a you know, simple zone run play. They cover everybody up, and Javante Williams, as we so often have seen, gets to the second level. And look, I, I kind of had to ask myself a little bit here, Dave, were, were they letting him score? Sounds crazy, but it almost was like Dave Clawson. And we'll be going to that site as soon as we are done. First down 10. Hartman bottled up again and could not get free. Down he goes once more. Boy, Vlahasic's had a couple of huge moments here in the fourth quarter. It's protection with that style of play, but you get into two-minute drive situations. These defensive linemen know, hey, I'm rushing the passer. Back to throw again. Going to throw it over the middle, and a catch is going to be made here by Reverson. Trying to cut to the outside, and will step out after a huge game. This really is right. Good job of Hartman. It's just standing in the pocket. People around his feet come from the backside, and that's a really good throw to Roberson running into the middle of the field, and then they're fortunate enough to get. Trying to go very quickly now. Inside two minutes remaining. Second down one. He will throw short, complete once again to pick up a first down. In terms of coverage, because it does seem like that's the player they're trying to get the football to. He's out to the right, quarterback looks left, and another quick pass. And that one complete to the freshman rule. First things first is got to convert down here in the tight red zone. Hartman, plenty of time, fires for the end zone. And a touchdown, caught by Roberson. Right in the back of the end zone. Clawson calls a timeout because Roberson is gassed. Then they design a play to get him open near the back end line. It's a good throw. It's a nice catch through contact. And that's why the players on the field matter. Calling that timeout so that you've got create a much different scenario, obviously, if you get an onside kick, which is maybe the more difficult part. Hartman in the pocket fires right at the goal line. And did he get the two? Sam yes, Hartman's he did. Especially offensively, Sam Hardman's performance. But yeah, Matt Brown's group behind Sam Howell. That that was incredible to watch. Six touchdown passes. School record.